when Miss Arden entered the New York Salon, and she was on the ground floor, the ground floor used to call the second floor, and the second floor used to call the third floor, and so on and so forth. And there was this system of, of intercoms and telephone warnings. She's coming, she's coming. She's on her way, she's on her way. So people would put away the cigarettes, hide the ashtray, uh, put on some powder and lipstick, and, and look just as pretty as they could. Then she would arrive and she would do a little inspection. Anyone she didn't like the look of was whisked out of the way. Um because there were certain people, oh, she doesn't like them, get, get them out of the way. So everyone had to be very, you know, well-groomed, very well-made up, and their hair always had to look very, very good. That was really of prime importance, because she liked people saying, oh, wasn't that a lovely lipstick? What is it? Oh, well, it's Arden Pink, or whatever it was, you know, at the time. It was all to do with sales, but all, you know, as it should be, as one would expect. I was born into Elizabeth Arden, and some time of late I've been thinking that my blood may be turning pink because although I dislike pink as such, but I was there for so many years and for my formative years, and I love the company very, very much. <laughs>